Hello. Glad we're here. Trust that you're well. Today I posted about DNA activations. I post about activations a lot. I just post what I'm feeling. So if others are feeling something, maybe they can tune into what that is, a sign of recognition. Or for those of us that feel activations, it helps each, each of us to understand what's going on. And a lot of us are on some of the same frequency and experience a lot of the same things. So um, to me, it's important to get that information out there so that we don't think that we're losing it or going crazy or sick or something like that. When, you know, we have a lot of physical symptoms with this ascension that we're going through, this consciousness that, um, that we're receiving because we are the receivers. And so DNA activations really boils down to activations in the body, the brain. As we are happy or become happier, the brain becomes more active. The, the neurotransmitters in the brain and in the body start to communicate more at a higher level, excreting those lovely hormones like oxytocin and serotonin and dopamine. And um, melatonin is actually excreted from the pineal gland which is that dreamlike substance that um, helps us sleep. It's actually produced during the day in sunlight and excreted at night to help us sleep. And so if we know those things, that being happier actually heals the brain and the body because the, the brain becomes more active, it moves around, it's not dormant. We can start to tap into activating our higher selves you know, they say that we only use a very small percentage of our brain. And, you know, I don't know, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. But maybe the, what it really means is that um, the things that we do in our ordinary lives, like watching TV, the news, um, you know, not stimulating ourselves through creativity, not stimulating ourselves through music. If we're not doing anything that's our passion, I think that we become dormant in our emotions, which obviously slows down brain activity with being sedentary, the blood's not flowing. You know, there's actually these like little pairs of what look like little hairs all over the brain that when those stop moving, that can cause Alzheimer's. And I saw a video about when those hairs become active on the brain again, start moving around. It, 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 it may, it heals itself. We're really amazing, uh, beings, humans, and when we realize that we can literally heal ourselves just by our emotions, it changes everything. Um, I've been activating my brain through many ways um, over the last year and a half or so. And um, mostly it's been conscious effort um, is listening to sound therapy, binaural beats, pure tones. Um, I listen to them at night while I sleep for many hours at a time. So I'm using sound, which we know heals the body and that the brain uses more of as is more active. It has more activity when we listen to music and sound. So it makes perfect sense that if we listen to certain tones um, that activate the brain, that stimulate the brain more, that we would be able to tap into our higher selves that's something that I started uh, that was starting to be channeled to me last year. And, and then, uh, Danny, uh, he told me about binaural beats when I visited him in Texas last July. And ever since then, I have been, he opened the doorway for me to be guided through that channeled path. And so I've done a lot of studying on myself and research on myself and activating in a lot of different ways. And sound is one of them. So all of those brainway activations that I, uh, those links, YouTube links that I post on Facebook, that's why I post those because those activate the dormant parts of our psyche of our brain. That's where our, our abilities lie. That it, it changes everything. We can literally raise, you know, our intelligence, meaning that it opens up our channel for receiving. It clears out the cloudiness, the illness, literally the illness from our brains and our bodies so that we can think more clear. We actually then begin to activate, we begin to activate our DNA. And so when I talk about DNA activations, um, I feel them in my body. Last year I was activated and in July and ever since then it's been happening. And 
we have to think about the Big Bang Theory when we think about our DNA and, and it's a combustion thing, you know, thought is energy and motion, which is like many explosions going off all the time. Well, we can enhance that within our body, within our brain, our psyche. And we can do and listen to sound, eating cleaner, taking better, drinking more water. And the number one thing is just to be happy. Uh, it changes everything. Every, it aligns our energetic flow. It, we start to then release and, and get rid of blocks in our body physically. We're, we're, a, we're a conduit. We're an energetic receptive machine um, in this beautiful vessel that we have. I think that we humans don't, we take it for granted. If we really understood the power of this body, this vessel with the energy, our soul, our who, who we think, you know, who we really are, it's not the body. If we can merge those two together and realize that they work in as one entity, instead of keeping them separated, like we always have been doing, because we didn't know, and now we do, the awareness is there. Um, that's where the magic is. That's how we activate and open up the door for manifestations. Our guides that opens us up to receiving, it lets our guides know that we're ready to start receiving that channeled information to that clear channel. And so DNA activations feel like a lot of different things for different people. For me, um, DNA activations, I can literally feel under my skin in different areas of the body. Sometimes it feels just like there's a beam that moves under my skin and sometimes in rhythmic patterns. So that, that tells me it's an outside source sending an activation. And so I can feel those under my skin moving around. It may feel like there's a wa like water on the skin or a bug and you look down, there's nothing there. And sometimes it's continual. It'll go in patterns and things in certain parts of my body. And, and so, like I said, that's an outside source upgrading the vessel. But I can feel, I can tell when it's DNA activations, which means because my brain is highly active, I keep it very stimulated by being happy, by listening to sound therapy, by eating better. Like I'm, I'm learning to incorporate these things more and more into my life. It's not, you know, I, I just... Everything's not perfect in the sense that I'm doing all of those things all the time, but I go with the flow of my human, of what I want to do sometimes, not just what the energy pushes me to do, but always in the healthy light for myself. I'm conscious of the things that I choose. I think that's what's important. It doesn't mean that there's total perfection all the time. It just means that we can shift within it to maintain the meditative state of mind. And so I can tell when, because of the brain being at a very active level, I can feel those uh, big bang, the big bang um, explosions, the cellular combustions in my body of rewriting my DNA. You can do the same thing. We it's cell regeneration. Everyone does it all the time, but we can speed that process up to reverse the age. It's literally like reversing age almost. We are we're. we're I think before, you know, obviously the way that I was living my life using drugs and drinking alcohol and smoking cigarettes and eating processed foods, those things speed up the cycle of the vessel, meaning that we perish, we leave this realm sooner than if we take a step back and go, I can heal my body. I can actually take care of myself and live a happy, longer, less painful life. Because what we put in our bodies actually affects us physically. We think a lot of the time, oh, my back hurts, my leg hurts, my neck hurts. But we don't realize that what we put in our body, what we feed the vessel affects those things. Well, if you're experiencing pain in other parts of your body, what is it? what are we doing to the brain? Like there's a reason why someone has a slow thought. It's because the frequency is not flowing right. So if you feel like your frequency is not flow, flowing right, find out what you can do to boost up your frequency. Any of the things I've, I've talked about in this video are, are just easy things that we can do. It doesn't take much to tap into our gifts, the six senses, and um, to raise our frequency. It's really amazing 
what happens in our lives when we decide to let go of things that have always been there that we're conditioned to have around us. You know, we don't realize that that's why we push against, we revolt against change is because it's just programming. We have to, it's just like a television show. You can turn it on or you can turn it off. And when we are the actors in that TV show with someone there directing us whenever we're ready to tap into that frequency um, in the way of guiding us like assistants, angels on, the, you know, that's what, like an angelic guide, universal truths, individual truths and collectively. And so if you want to take better care of yourself, stop talking about it and start doing stuff about it. I mean, go into YouTube and type it in binaural beats and start listening to sounds whenever it feels good to you. That is healing. Not buying McDonald's, not getting those package of donuts at the grocery store and getting some apples and some bananas and some kale instead. Do that. Doesn't mean you have to do it every day. Just start making baby steps. This is our rebirth. It doesn't happen overnight. If you're in a toxic relationship and every day that's all you can think about and just like, oh, what can I do? What can I do? And those things aren't fixing it, then you might want to go a different route. We can, ch we are the creators of our own spectrum in this spectrum. And we can tap into the higher realm of consciousness to open up the channel of receiving of abundance within ourselves or psyche to channel that same thing on the outside of ourselves, or we can stay in the lower realm our, our animalistic selves that aren't tamed. Nothing on the outside has to tame us only a reflection of how we should tame ourselves. So we don't have to, we don't have to go by, by, we don't have to abide by what someone else says we should do within our consciousness. And we don't certainly don't have to chase after what someone else has, but we can use those things to fuel our ascension, to team up. Ooh, I like what she's got. I like what he's doing. Let me learn about that. Instead of judging and, um, and, you know, we only judge people because of the conditioned ways of thinking. Like, why would somebody t say something bad about someone else? You know, because all it does is make the person that's talking poorly look poor. And so, you know, it's just about learning when to engage, when to be reactionary and when to be quiet. Being quiet is the key to ascension also. I literally shut my mouth and didn't talk and got like... I really started getting in within myself and that's that's really how we activate is to get quiet on the outside on the inside to just listen and observe because we are the receivers and we are the observers and all of those things aid activation there's nothing special to it there's no magic other than awareness awareness is the key to ascension i love you to the moon family have a great afternoon